You mad for what? You mad for what? I'm giving up, I'm giving up on love. She so mad for what? You mad for what? Cause I'm giving up, I'm giving up on us. You mad for what? You mad for what? Oh my god. Thank you. 2021 is over. Oh my god. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your man, Playboy Nick, and I am back with another video. It's my first video of 2022. I ain't been on my channel in a minute. I'm sorry. 2021 was just a hell of a year. Uh, and then the beginning of 2022 kind of started off a little rough for me, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. You know me, I'm gonna put this frown on this face. I'm gonna smile about it always and anyways. Right now, I'm in like my lounge right now. I was gonna record at the house, but I was like, the lighting in the house right now is kind of like not that good. And then like, I just bought these two new lights. So I was like, let me try them out while I'm in here. So hopefully the lightness look good or whatever. 2021 was a year. It was a it was a crazy ass year. I lost a lot of people. You know, COVID happened, which was freaking nuts as shit. A lot of the things I wanted to do, a lot of places I wanted to go, I couldn't go because of COVID and you know, a few other things like that. So 2021 was just, like I said, one crazy year. Started with a lot of people. Obviously you can see those people really aren't here with me like that no more. There's a lot of things that went on in my personal life that I don't bring to YouTube because I feel like you guys know kind of like partially of my personal life, but there's some things I don't bring on camera. There's some things I don't bring to the internet because one is personal and two, I just feel like not everybody in the world needs to know everything about you, you know what I'm saying? Or about me or whatever, you know, the case may be. But like, it was it was crazy. It was crazy, man. Like I said, I let a lot of people that was in my, and those in my life that really weren't good for me, um, I gained a lot. Uh, I got signed to a record label in the beginning of in, in, uh, last year. So I'm thankful for that, mad thankful for that. You know, I joined the group with my boys, mad grateful for that. But there also were a lot of down points in 2021. Losing family members, uh, losing friends, some of them to death, some of them to COVID. You know, some, some heartbreaks. <laughs> some heartbreaks in 2021, man. And I know what y'all think of Playboy. You don't fall in love. What's going on? Ain't hey, for the cats, y'all, man. Playboy fall in love, man. I'm a Playboy, but shit, I still got a heart. You know what I mean? I just don't use it all the time, and I can admit that. I just feel like maybe the 2022 should be different. And you know how everybody be like, oh, New Year's resolution. And sometimes they don't fall through with it. This ain't my New Year's resolution. I feel like this is more of a wake up call for me. You know, I feel like I was always the type of person who, when it comes to dealing with his emotions, I don't deal with them. I, I cope a very different way. I, I used to tell myself all the time, you know, I don't get hurt. You know, hurt is an emotion specific to those who care, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just like, man, I'm, I don't want to keep living like that. I don't want to keep having that same mindset. One, it's mad unattractive. Two, I feel like that if you have a problem and you ignore it or you try to push it out of the way, to me, not to everybody else, but for me being an alpha, to literally have the word alpha tattooed on me for always having an alpha mentality, I can't just shut off my emotions and, and move along with it and react the way I react. Just because that's weak. To me, that's mad weak. As a man, to me, that's weak to ignore your feelings. I feel like if you cry as a man, dude, it's okay to cry, bro. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to have moments like, like, damn, you know, I'm hurt, I'm emotional right now, I don't know what to do. It's okay to have that because for me, it reminds me that I'm still able to feel something. You know what I mean? Like I'm still able to care and love and feel for people the way that I actually want to feel. You know what I mean? And I feel like that was my problem last year with the relationship that I was in. I didn't know how to cope with my emotions and I and I pushed it away. It was, it was like, you know, I don't really, you know, I can't deal with this. There's so much going on. I got to push you away. You know, there's no time. You know, it was, just, it was just a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? And that's just on like the relationship side. You feel me? I'm not the man. I'm not the type of guy who likes to talk about death. But you know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of, I lost a lot of people last year. Uncles, and friends I went to school with and stuff like that. It seemed like every time, I feel like last year, it felt like every phone call, Cause I don't live at home with my parents. I haven't lived with my parents in a minute. My parents live, God damn, she thicker than a snake. But <laughs> what? my parents live like back home. So like, it felt like every every single time last year when I got a phone call from my, my, my parents, it was bad. It was always bad. It was never anything good. It was always, you know, your cousin just died or your uncle just died or you know, I'm having problems and this is that. And it was just like, 
me as a person, like I said, I don't normally let things get to me. When I hear something or something makes me mad or emotional, I bottle those feelings up inside and I don't bother them. I don't talk about them. I keep it to myself and then I'll go off to myself and I'll write music or I'll work out or I'll have a moment where I like to call it a moment of weakness where I allow myself to feel everything, to push it all out at once. And I thought that was healthy until, you know, coming into 2022 with that same mindset. And now I'm, it's like in 2022, my mindset grew different, but my heart was still the same. And it's like, I can see it. Like I can feel it in my heart, in my head. That like, yeah, man, this ain't, this ain't it. I can't keep me in this way, man. It's saying, this is not what I want for my life. This is not what I want for the people around me. I don't want the people I care about to see me this way because that's not cool. I shit you not, before I made this video, what made me change my mind was I went through a little situation last night. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys what it was. I went through a little situation last night and I told myself, you know what? I got to turn it off. Like, I don't want to feel nothing right now. I don't want to, I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to feel nothing. So I was like, man, I'm going to turn it off. And, and I turned it off. I turned it off. And I know it sounds weird. People how the hell you need to turn off your emotions. Trust me. To me, it's like a switch in my head. I flip that thing like that and I'm off and I don't care about nothing. But I turned it off and I woke up today still emotionless. I woke up with like the most blankest emotion on my face. Like I just didn't care about nothing. I didn't care about nothing or anyone. I, I didn't give a shit. Man, a friend of mine texted me and she was like, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Uh, Neek, like, that's really weak of you. And when she said that, it flipped something in my mind. I was like, hold on, weak. That ain't what I do. I'm not a weak person. I don't run from a situation. I don't run from problems. I don't run from nothing. So when she said that, it did click in my head, like, damn, I'm starting this year off wrong. If I want to move forward in my life, you know, with good health, a good mental state, a good heart, I got to let go of everything that makes me angry. I got to let go of everything that hurts me, everything. And I got to let go of my old mentality. That's that's the main thing I feel like it is. I got to let go of my old way of thinking. Because if I keep holding on to that, I'm never going to be fine. I'm never gonna be straight. I'm never gonna be happy. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna achieve anything. You know what I mean? And it's 2022, like I said, it's a whole new year. And I don't wanna blame it on the year of why I'm being different, but it feels good to step into a new year telling myself, okay, I wanna be better than I was last year. I wanna be better than I was yesterday. I wanna be better than I'm gonna be tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like I gotta put, I gotta hold myself to a higher standard. And I feel like I don't give myself enough credit because I do that. But then having the mentality that I have or that I had, it was like, okay, I give myself too much credit and I gotta knock myself back down. I gotta humble myself again. But the way I was humbling myself was toxic. It was like I was, I would be happy about something, but then I tell myself, man, you can't be happy because of things you did in your past. So I gotta knock myself down. And like, it was fucked up that I was living, thinking, being that way. I can't do that no more. I was like, man, I gotta do this right. So 2022, like I said, the things I didn't get to do last year, I didn't get to travel like I wanted to. I didn't get to go back home and see my family like I wanted to. I didn't get to achieve a lot of things in my career, you know, because COVID and because of my mental state was. But it's a whole new year, man. And this year, man, I plan on doing every single thing that I thought I never would. You know, right now things are going good. Like I said, aside from the situation last night, aside from going through what I guess what I went through a little bit in the beginning of the year, which is why this is my first video. And I'm like 15 days into the whole new year. So I apologize for y'all on that. You know, doing different things, but I'm straight, man. I'm good. You know, uh, one thing I do want to preach to everybody, man, is your mental health, man. Like that's one thing about me that I know that sometimes I do got to step away from the camera for my mental health. And I feel like that's what I did, you know? And I know some of you guys DM me, text me all the time. When's the next YouTube video? You comment on the old videos. When's the next YouTube video? When is video dropping? When is the content? When is the content? When is the content? And I want to give it to you guys, I do. I don't want to make you guys wait, but I want to give you the best parts of me. That's, uh, that's always been me. If I feel like if I'm not giving you the best part of me, if I'm not giving you 100%, then I don't want to give it to you at all. Because I don't want to have to say, oh man, I'm sorry for not giving you my all. Because I want to give my all with any and everything that I do. But the fact that I'm still human, you guys have to understand that. And I feel like some of you guys do. But I feel like some of you guys also like, yeah, we understand you're human, but this is your job. You have no choice. And it's like, yeah, I understand it. But my mental health is important. If I got to put the camera down and get off of Instagram and get off of TikTok for a few days, and I got to do that. Uh, and I don't really want to apologize for that because I feel like if you guys really support me, the way you say you do, then you'd understand. And if you don't, then that's cool too. Sometimes there are moments I have to step away from the camera. You know, my life has definitely been in the line, in the cameras for the past 
what, seven, eight years. I've been YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, every single day, every day, all day without skipping a beat. And then, and then I did take a break a little bit last year, like I said, because a lot of things was going on. And in the beginning of this year, I kind of, I was so scared to pick up that camera because I was like, man, am I going to be the same Nick again? Am I going to be able to give them the energy? Am I going to be able to give them everything? And the answer to that question is, yes, I'm Yes, I'm gonna be bigger and better than I was the last time you saw me, which I don't really remember what video that was. So, I'm on that, but I I just definitely wanna be better. You know, this is the first video of 2022. This damn sure won't be the last. I'm coming with you guys with more content, more videos, more challenges, more vlogs, more pranks, any and everything that you wanna see on the channel, you comment below and you let me know. I don't wanna get too sentimental in this video because that ain't what I do. But I do wanna thank all of you guys for rocking with me, man. For everyone who, for the bad parts of my life, for those who did see family, friends, supporters, you know what I'm saying? Sticking by me, for understanding, for giving me the time that I needed to myself, for being there for me, even at times where it seemed like I didn't want it, you know, you guys still stuck by me and pushed push me to just be the better version of myself. And I feel like that's what I needed. And I feel like it gave me a clear head, it gave me a clear heart, I got the clarity that I needed. So now I'm walking definitely in a clear vision. It's gonna be a hell of a year, I'm telling you now. Expect me to be any and everywhere. I'm gonna be in Ibiza, Dubai, London, Japan, every freaking where, because I'm traveling a hell of a lot this year. And I'm going snowboarding, because I said I wanted to go snowboarding last year, but I am not going snowboarding last year because when I was at Six Flags, I lost my wallet and I lost my license, ID, all my credit cards and stuff like that. And literally when we were going up there to snowboard, they were like, oh, we need an ID. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't have it. I got my COVID vaccination, but yeah. And then that's another thing. I'm happy I just thought about that. That's another reason why I didn't do videos early this year. I literally got hit with COVID for a second time. And I have the vaccination card, but I got hit with that new Marion touch. No, I got hit with the new one, so like it, it threw me down for like, I was down bad. I was literally on my couch every day, all day. I couldn't move. I had the chills. I was hot one moment, cold one moment. I had a headache. I couldn't swallow anything. Like it was, it was just bad. But I ain't gonna talk about all the negative stuff. Like I gotta say, it's a new day, new me. I'm ready to see where this year takes me, man. I want to take you guys with me on this journey. We over 190,000 subscribers strong, man. I'm going to constantly keep building, and I know that's on me for the lack of content. But like I said, I'm giving you guys, you're ready to see that. But I'm going to get out this video, man. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. 2022, new year. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm in love with you, baby. But I'm done with you, baby. Up or not, I was doing this fire. Now you're ignoring me, baby. Uh, checking my phone for evidence. Bringing up shit that's irrelevant. Nah, it's time if it's the elephant. And also, though, yeah, I'm through with it. I was a pimp, I was stuck in it. Past life, for some other shit. Met you when I was done with it. Chased up.